I welcome all of you for MSc videos. It's time to learn. So last class we discussed about 2D transformation, changing any 2D object's position, size, or orientation is defined as a transformation. So in this video lecture we are going to discuss about 2D composite transformation. What is the need for composite transformation? To perform animation, we want to perform sequence of transformations. So composite transformation is defined as a performing more than one transformation. That's what we are saying as a composite transformation. So already we know the formula to perform the transformations. To perform a translation, we know the formula P dash equal to T plus P. Transformation, translation vector is needed and then the original point we will calculate the new point. To perform rotation, we need rotation matrix. To perform scaling, we need By seeing this formula itself, we can say that the translation is an addition, the rotation and scaling is in multiplication. Animation is defined as performing more than one transformation. So we want to make all these three transformations in the same formula. We want to convert this addition into a multiplication. To do that, we are going to include one more new term called as a homogeneous coordinate. To make all three in one form, we are going to include a new coordinate called as a homogeneous coordinate. Homogeneous coordinate, always the value is 1. So we are not going to worry about anything. The value is 1. We are not going to calculate any new value for this. For 2D object, it is added as a third coordinate. So along with x and y axis value, it is added as a third coordinate. For a 3D object, it is added as a fourth coordinate. So now, after adding this homogeneous coordinate, it will become p dash equal to t into p. Initially, p dash equal to t plus p. Now we added the third coordinate. Now it will become p dash equal to t into p. This is a new matrix to perform translation. So new formation is added. So 1, 0, tx, 0, 1, ty, 0, 0, 1. Now the formula is not changed. So x dash equal to 1 into x, x plus 0 into y, it is 0. And tx into 1, it is tx. So x dash equal to x plus tx. Formula is not changed. And y dash equal to 0 into x, it will become 0. 1 into y, it is y. And ty into 1, it is ty. So y plus ty. So the formula is not changed. And here it is 1. We are not going to worry about this one. We are not going to perform any process on this one. Thus, we are adding this one to make it this translation into a multiplication form. So that we can easily perform the continuous transformation. So rotation is also changed, p dash equal to r into p. So we are making it as the same term, 3 cross 3 matrix. These three values are added, so 0, 0, 1 and here it is also added. So the formula was not changed, x dash equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta and y dash equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta and this 1 equal to 1. And then you know what is mean by a scaling, so x dash equal to x into s x, y dash equal to y into s y and 1 equal to 1. So translations, performing more than one translation is defined as a translations. To do that, we need two translation vectors, T1 and T2. So it is not limited to two, you can include any number of translations. Now we are performing two translations, T1 and T2. So P dash equal to the original point P, it is applied with T1, after that it is applied with T2. Initially, the point is located at x, y. It is translated with the help of translation vector t1 and then it is translated with the translation vector t2. So, this is a multiplication x, y1 and this is a translation matrix 1, this translation matrix 2. So, no need to perform all these process. What we can do means directly you can add these values. x dash equal to x plus tx1 plus tx2. The result will be same. After multiplying these two, these three matrices, you will get a result. The result is same as that of this particular process. And y dash equal to y plus ty1 plus ty2 and this homogeneous coordinate 1 equal to 1. And rotations performing more than one rotation. Now we are considering two rotations r1 equal to theta1, r2 equal to theta2. And as usual, a point located at p, it is rotated with the help of r1 and then it is rotated with the help of r2. And then we know the formula for this, this is rotation matrix 1, this is rotation matrix 2. So you can directly multiply by using 
these three matrices or otherwise what we can do means directly you can add this angles and then you can use that x cos theta 1 plus theta 2 minus y sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 x sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus y cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 either you can use this formula or you can directly use this formula both the things are same and as usual scalings performing more than one scaling so, so we need two scale factors s1 and then s2 p dash equal to initially a point is located on p it is s1 and then it is applied with s2 and we are having these three these three matrices after multiplying that directly you can use this formula x dash equal to x into sx1 into sx2 and y dash equal to y into sy1 into sy2 and this is a homogeneous coordinate and what so we'll discuss an example for this consider a square located at 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 and then 2 comma 2 perform translations with 1 comma 1 and 4 comma 4 and perform rotations with the angle 90 degree comma 90 degree perform scaling with 4 comma 4 and 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 so we are having four points for a square p1 p2 p3 p4 so we want to identify four new values for this translation vector values first value is 1 comma 1 initially the square must be translated by using 1 comma 1 then it is translated by using 4 comma 4 you can uh, perform this process as a two different translations or you can directly use this formula directly you can add these values so p p1 dash equal to x1 dash comma y1 dash so it is one is the point and then the first translation vector second translation vector the value is 6 6 1 and similarly you can identify p2 dash p3 dash and then this is actually p4 dash and the rotation theta 1 equal to 90 degree theta 2 equal to 90 degree so we know the formula for this directly you can add these values 90 plus 90 you will get the result similarly you can get p2 dash p3 dash as well as p4 dash and similar for a scaling also initially the square is scaled with the factor 4 and then it is reduced by half so 1 by 2 so directly you can perform the process you can identify the values p1 dash p2 dash and then p4 dash that's the advantage of using composite transformation thank you for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you